Developing story on Detroit's west side where a soon to be mother was gunned down and killed overnight. Lauren Podell live at the Detroit Police Department and Lauren do police. Right now. Sandra, right now, the only lead that Detroit police are telling us is that they believe a man walked up to this 21 year old woman who's seven months pregnant at her home, opened fire, ran away and possibly got into a car at the end of the street. As far as suspect information goes, that's about it at this hour. That's why Detroit police are desperate for any information, any tips that can help lead them to an arrest. 21 year old Bianca Lyons had a lot of life to live and her unborn child didn't even have a chance after this soon to be mother was gunned down in front of her family home on Crocus Lawn on Detroit's west side. Gunfire neighbors heard loud and clear just after 11 Wednesday night. Just heard the shots. It's about like four of them. Four loud shots almost like shook the house. Detroit police tell local four Bianca was shot five times while getting out of her car. Her parents found her lying on the ground. The 21 year old was rushed to the hospital. Her unborn baby boy died in the emergency room. Bianca passed away a few hours later. Bianca worked at the U.S. Post Office downtown. Her ID was recovered at the scene and a heartbroken co-worker showed up at her home when he heard the news. That's when I woke my wife up, cried on her shoulder for a minute because like I said, Bianca was a friend. Um, then I put my clothes on, came around here to see hopefully I could hear some type of news to help me get through the day like they got an idea. They might have a guy, a clue, a suspect or something. Detroit police don't know who shot a woman seven months pregnant or why. They hoped canines could sniff out a trail in the neighborhood near West Chicago and Wyoming, but the dogs lost the scent at the corner of the street. While family and friends are mourning the loss of a young woman, had a bright future ahead of her. I've never heard anybody speak a bad word about Bianca. I mean, like I said, we're just coworkers, so we only interact for about eight hours a day, but I've never heard anybody have a complaint, whether it be a coworker, supervisor, manager, everybody loved Bianca. She was cool. She was a little kid with a good job. And Bianca had so many other co-workers, Sandra, who today are simply mourning the loss and shocked by her murder. You'll hear more from them on later editions of Local 4 News. In the meantime, those USPS employees, they will be offered grief counseling and employee assistance if they need it. In the meantime, Detroit police still looking for tips. If you have any information on who shot Bianca Lyons, you're asked to call 1-800-SPEAK-UP. Your tips can remain anonymous or Detroit police. Reporting live from DPD headquarters, Lauren Podell, Local 4.